the new style neck has three parallel channels and the neck itself is constructed of just two layers of fabric instead of four so it gathers much more easily. In fact, I can take this and quickly cinch it down to nothing. It's wrap around your wrist if you'd like. But the idea with the three channels is different cameras have different cabinet widths. Field cameras have a wide cabinet, monorails and some of the metal field cameras uh, have a very narrow profile and so I had to make a neck that would accommodate all those different styles. So with the three channels, the outermost channels are designed to grasp a wider cabinet like a wood field camera or this camera here. If you were to use this on a monorail or something with a narrow cabinet, you could rethread the innermost shock cord through the center channel and thereby reducing the width uh, and making it a much better fit for a narrower profile. So let's see how this works. Uh, first thing I typically do is I grasp the lower right hand corner shock cords and toggles and I shorten this about a foot for this particular camera and that reduces the opening of the neck. I grasp the cloth with the toggles uh, in the upper left hand corner by my thumb, drape it over the top of the camera and guide it down the sides and underneath. And so now you can see that the cords are working in opposition to each other to hold the neck in position. It's not going to shift forward or back. And in fact, uh, the fabric here is acting as a flange that would block light. Now this is a point of concern. If you over tighten the cord here, you run the risk of pinching your bellows. And you really don't need to put much tension on this at all. It just needs to be slightly smaller than the cabinet size itself to work. So it's on there and we're ready to go. To take it off is just as easy. You just reduce that tension on the front toggle there and voila, it comes right off without disturbing your composition.